Oh, sh what time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. Welcome to Royal Goose. We're gonna fight the candy cane princess himself. Princess Bitches. Down from the cave of horrors. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Hi! That's one of the coolest idol, idol animations ever, seriously. Hey, James, can you put a big picture of Rayman on the screen right now? Sure. That's what Rayman looks like. <laughs> In case you guys didn't know. Howard Lightning. <laughs> hmm. I remember one of the first Let's Plays I ever watched. Dude, was... those look like Dio dudes from far away. Oh, yeah, they kind of. Oh, yeah, they kind of. really did. far away. Geo dude. Geo dude. I think Geodude has one of the coolest cry sound effects. Oh. I, I can't even I can't even imitate it. Really? I can. It's like ah! something like that. You know, okay, I was gonna joke, but no, that was pretty good. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. I was just gonna be like ah! <laughs> But yeah, dude. That that kinda sounds like Geodude's <laughs> cry. Wow. I guess I don't know my own strength. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, have you seen, heard anything else about Pokemon Sword and Shield? Um, that there's a Surfetched, which is like far-fetched, but Galar region. Yeah. That's what it's called, right? The Galar region. Oh, I don't know. I haven't looked much into it, but I don't know. It just looks very underwhelming, to be honest. Mm. It just looks like a, a normal like Game Boy version of Pokemon with like a little, little bit better graphics. It looks just like X and Y or yeah. Sun and Moon. Yeah, and I'm like, come on, man. This is your shot to like really nail it. Like, if you look at Pokemon Coliseum, I think that game looked better than what Sun and Moon looks like, dude. <laughs> and that was for the fucking GameCube. Yeah. Like, they put so much effort into it because Psyonix did not make that game. Nintendo made that game, I'm pretty sure. Oh, Psyonix. Or... Sorry, not Psyonix. The Pokemon Company? Yes. Huh. Which is... Uh, is it just called the Pokemon Company? I think so. Okay. I I don't quote me on the news. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Although, uh, I don't know what I'm talking about, so please correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not like trying to stir the pot or like create any drama around Pokemon, but this is what I heard from someone else. I guess, like, so there's theories that <clears throat> the Pokemon Company isn't putting a lot of effort into this, or as much as like some would expect, because they're kind of done with making Pokemon games, I guess. What? Because Nintendo like takes a huge cut, but they don't actually like do any of the developmental work anymore. Like back with the old games, uh, a lot of the OG Nintendo developers did help the Pokemon company um, like make the game and like write the code and stuff. Mm -hmm. But now they don't, and they basically just collect a huge lump sum for the the licensing of Pokemon. Um, so. Like, they don't really have any huge incentives because they're giving away, I don't know, like, I, I don't know the percent, let's say 30 to 40% of their, how much they're making, um, without Nintendo doing jack shit. So, I don't know that, I just heard that, like, uh, a theory that they're, they're kind of pissed about it and they want to, like, break away from that. They're trying to make their own new game that's not Pokemon, that company. Huh. Yeah. Man, I hope that's not true. If so, that's a bummer. Well, Dude, I'd be okay with that, cause like, the, Nintendo's not gonna let Pokemon die. If no. Nintendo made a Pokemon game, though, I bet you it would be really good. I, I I just don't know like how many people from Nintendo also work on Pokemon. I just feel like Pokemon's getting real stale, dude. Think so? Yeah, like look what they did with Zelda. They like totally rebooted it. Mm -hmm. Um, that being said, you know, even if they gave us the same thing again, I would be down, cause I freaking love Zelda games. But like. How original can you really get with Pokemon? It's turn-based fighting and leveling up, and you... I don't know, dude. Yeah, it's, it's hard. Keep, keeping a, a, a long-standing franchise like mm -hmm. that going is cannot be easy. No. Like, the, 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 the issue with Pokemon is, like... Like, like my... I think an issue a lot of people have is, uh... The fact that, uh... Every single game, they have to come up with, like, a hundred or so new designs, yep. and... You know, a lot of people are like, oh yeah, the first two gens are great, but everything after that's kind of whatever, eh. Uh -huh. <laughs> some, some people aren't going to be as on board with all the new character designs. Yeah. So. Well, well in addition, so like, take another turn-based game like uh, Dragon Quest or uh, like Final Fantasy. Eventually, like, the thing that keeps you coming back to those turn-based games is the story. 
right? Mm. Like the gameplay mechanics don't change that much, at least for Dragon Quest. With Final Fantasy, they've definitely changed in the last <laughs> last while. Um, nice. Yes. Uh, so like Dragon Quest, they just keep coming up with cool stories and things like that. Um, Final Fantasy, they revamped it. Like Final Fantasy 15 has a completely like westernized combat style where you oh, like, okay. are clicking to attack and stuff like that. It's not like you know, you cast uh, whatever fucking. <laughs> oh, whew, I thought it was gonna go back to the very beginning. No, 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 that'd be awful. Uh, this game is well designed. Yeah. So, yeah, dude. Uh, whereas Pokemon, like the story, to me, I've never been interested in the Pokemon story at all. I mean, they, they've never Have been you? even really all about the story. No, I know. Much. I think that's what they need, though. They need like a Pokemon story that's just not so goddamn bland like look at sun and moon oh there's a tribal pokemon and he's mysterious well go on and fight all of the like local trials oh and by the way there's some giant mountain where you know one of these legendary pokemon are oh wow there's a whatever i don't want to spoil everything but it was very uninteresting to me. I was like, okay, cool. I, I remember people saying that Black and White had a pretty good story. Oh, I've heard that as well. I did not play those games. Because it was all about um, the that group of, of bad guys who were like, they're like, we need to liberate Pokemon from humans. Are they really happy being the way they are? Like being trapped okay. in the balls all the time? And it, it's like, huh, I wonder that myself. Yeah. That's, that was actually kind of interesting. But uh, yeah, I don't know. That's... The, the issue with a long-standing franchise is like, okay, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, but how do you keep it fresh yeah. with each installment? Oh. Here we go, boys. This is the part that scared the boo-boo out of me. Mm-hmm. The big old boo-boo. See, I saw it coming because I already knew about it from reading the guide, yeah. but you didn't. So. I didn't. I was just like, what? Okay, that is not nearly as scary as I remember it being. Just wait for it. Oh, okay. Never <laughs> yeah, that was pretty spooky. Christ. Yeah, dude, this scared the bejesus. Oh, the lambs, dang it. Yeah, it scared the bejesus out of me. Yeah, tell me about it. And listen. You can hear him breathing. Oh, yeah. Wait for it. <sighs> creepy, creepy, creepy. <laughs> Got a lot of two-dimensional teeth. Yeah, dude. <laughs> If they ever remake this game, they're gonna have to actually make it, make it like, like a full 3D model for that yeah. mouth. Otherwise, it'll be like, eh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. I think it holds up decent. Right. Shoot, 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 shoot. Yes. Okay, one of the very first Let's Plays I'd ever seen was by this guy named Durden77. Yeah. His first name was Tyler, so of course you know. Yeah. <laughs> Just Durden. like Tyler Durden from Pipe yep. Up. Yep. Uh, his second, his second Let's Play was uh, of this game, and mm -hmm. he, he was experiencing the entire thing blind for the oh. first time, and right when it got to that part, he legit freaked out, and he was like, what the fuck? Holy shit, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. That, that was it? It was so funny, yeah. Damn. In my mind, it's so much longer and spookier than that. Yeah. It's kind of weird at this point, he's like, okay, I mean, I could keep chasing you and try to eat you, but uh, uh, I could just do this platform shit. Okay, that works. <laughs> You know, typical platforming boss logic. Hell yeah, gamer. Be a dum dum. <laughs> he just runs away from you now, instead of fighting you head on. Do you actually hurt him, or does he just follow into follow into the? You, bombs? you just follow him. It, okay. You'll, 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 you'll All see. Right. All right, buddy. <laughs> Invigorating, <laughs> stimulating. Tell me about it. Nut smashing! Alright, mofo, you going down. Hell yeah, okay. He really does look like Michael. That'd be so funny if, like, uh, at Pixar, when they were coming up with uh, Monsters, Inc., <laughs> when they yeah. were coming up with the character designs, they, they happened to be playing Rayman 2. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny, man. When did that movie come out? Uh, it came out in 2001, so, like, a year, okay. two, a year or two after this. Yeah. They they, so it, it was probably in the works at the time. They owe Michelle Ansel a, a, a secret royalty check every year. Yeah. <laughs> For every Whoa. DVD sale of, of Monsters, Inc., they own like a 25% cut. So what happens if you die right here? Are you start at the very beginning? You just have to start platform. it. Like, yeah, the last platform. Okay, that's good. Ow. Ow. 
All right, this part gets a little bit tricky because now they're like super far away. Snodicus Maximus! <laughs> Did you know when the next Fantastic Beasts movie is com gonna come out? No. I I like those movies. I've only seen like parts of the first one, and I I thought it was cool, but I, I wasn't like crazy about it. Yeah. So. I thought the second one was way better than the first one. Um. Oh. Dang it. <laughs> I just I just wonder if like shite right into the thorns. Hey, I guess we found out what happens when you get a big old butt licking. <laughs> Look at the booty. Whee! Tooty fruity! I, I just, I remember hearing J.K. Rowling say that she was gonna make like five movies oh based on God. that series. And I was like, really? Five? I hope not. Yeah, I don't feel like they have as much potential to be as good as Harry Potter. I, yeah, so. I just, I don't want them to do the thing that they did with, um, like, The Hobbit. No. That should not have been three movies. The second one, in my opinion, was the only, like, good, good one. one. Yeah, tell me about it. Because it had freaking smog. But, like, Martin, Martin Freeman did a good job as Bilbo in all three movies. Yeah, for sure. sure. Like I'm, the, I'm not crapping on like the acting or the right. It was just too damn long. The mm. story just didn't have enough sustenance to really. Uh, I don't know. Sustenance? You mean substance? <laughs> sustenance, dog. That's what I'm saying. You're gonna eat the fucking story and gain, gain sustenance. All right. Yeah, well, you're a fucking idiot. It's substance. <laughs> no, if I was talking about substance, I'm talking about sustenance. Okay? You're gonna eat it and gain sustenance. I'm just trying to help you and tell you that you, the word you're using is wrong. I'm telling you the word you think that I'm using is not the word that you're recommending to me. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm telling that you that I like shit. to eat my books, bitch. And yeah, you can go fuck yourself. I already see my fucking pages. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I agree. The, the second Hobbit movie is like the only good one. I, I still remember seeing the third one in theaters. I, the, yeah. It has my dad. Oh, no! As my dad and I were walking, like, out of the parking lot into the movie, I was like, All right, Dad, are you ready to watch five CGI armies fight to the death for three hours? <laughs> <laughs> and it's just... Yeah, it, it was just pretty boring. Hell yeah, I was gamer! This is what was that, like, 30 pages in the book? I don't know. I haven't read The Hobbit for so damn long. Hmm. But yeah, man. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, muchacho. Oh no, I have nothing where nowhere to go except in the ground. <laughs> Alright, how far in are we? Oh, we're 12 minutes in. Next time on Royal Boobs, we get a mammary gram. What's that? Bye-bye! <laughs>